Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another creative fun time episode with Scar as we continue to build this amazing modern house. And in today's episode, we are going to work on a dining room with table, chairs, and all sorts of other great decorations. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to our modern house build. It's been quite some time, but it's good to be back. And if you look up there, we have a villager. It looks like he's peeping into that bedroom's window, and that's very creepy. I should tell you sometime about a story when I took down a neighborhood peeper. Single-handedly took him down. Yes, I brought justice to the neighborhood. All right, so let's see. Oh, uh, appears to be a fallen in a hole. Okay, so here is our living room site. So this is where we're going to build it. And at one time I was thinking about building one gigantic living or uh, dining room, I mean. And it was going to have a, like a table all the way across. But yeah, it seemed kind of ridiculous. So I've kind of scaled it back to this section of this room right over here just off of our kitchen. And over here, we're going to probably do something, maybe a nice sitting room, living room type thing, just a small formal area over there. I think that'll look pretty good when we get to that eventually. We're going to kind of focus in this area, so we're going to get straight into it here. We're just going to start adding some detail, of course, get some pillars and floors and ceilings going before we get to our table chairs and things of that nature. And I also want to add another row of these guys out here. There we go. Just get that started, and I also need to get out a chisel block from a magic little toy. There we go. It's going to fit that into there like so. There we go. I think that's probably good for now. All right. So let's see here. What do we want to do about our ceiling? So I'm going to knock out these lights over here, and I'm going to run this across here. So we're going to have a nice, good-sized ceiling across here. So bring this out here. There we go. All right. So... Let's see. So we are getting pretty darn close to completion of this modern house. Finally, we are really getting there. And it has been quite a process to get to this point. We have gone pretty well step by step with the house. And I think that's uh, what you guys wanted. I would like to have, you know, maybe made it a few less episodes, kind of sped it up a little bit. But I think I'll keep it uh, how we've been going so far, just so we can finish this all up. And um, yeah, so I've, I've talked a little bit about in the previous episodes about maybe changing the slight way of doing some of the episodes is kind of trying to speed them up, maybe do more of one series in a week instead of multiple series um, in a week, you know, multiple different series. So something to think about as we go on. There we go. So I'm going to put that down like so. Now we're going to put the floor over here. And yeah, so I'm busy in the process of coming up with our next build for the creative series. I've been talking about it in a lot of different videos, but I'm really excited. I, I'm really excited for the next uh, creative series build. I've had a lot of fun in this series because it's been something different. Most, if not all my things I've done have always been in survival. So it's just been something kind of fun to mix it up a little bit. And it's taken a while to actually kind of get used to, in some cases, some of the different controls and things like that. But I really hope in one of the next updates or so, Maybe they address a few things for the creative mode, like um, maybe increase, I don't know if this is possible, but wouldn't you guys like to see an increase in the hot bar? Maybe, maybe we could have a couple more items for creative mode, or maybe a better system where, if, say, we put in, I think I've talked about this before, but I'd really love to see it implemented. I think it would really increase our level of productivity and enjoyment of the game. Just flying over here, taking care of some of uh, that stuff. So what I'm saying is, say we have the chisel block over here. We could highlight it over it and maybe push some hotkey, and the thing would flip up. So this would flip up, and it would show stairs, you know, half slabs, things of that nature. So we could have all the all the courts in one single block instead of space them out like I have right there. I don't know, just an idea. I think that might um, add just a little bit to the game. Okay, so I'm going to put another pole right here. There we go. Get that up there like so. Place you down. All right. Let's see what we have now. So I'm going to open this area up a little bit and have a nice big window right here. I think that'll look pretty cool. Very nice. Have add lots of extra light to the room. There we go. When in doubt, on a wall. Either put a painting down, bookshelves, or a giant window. So when you're here, whenever I look at a wind wall and I'm like, oh, that's very plain. I always just like to add giant window. And if it's if it's kind of a wall that you can't really do a window in, bookcases are always the way to go. There we go. Do we actually have a window? Yeah, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Just the way we like it. And I think I'm going to add just a nice pine bush to the sides of this. So 
Oops. Cut that. In. Oh, no. We want to make sure that's... Well, what could we do? We could actually add an extra little bit of light to this area. So we could do that. There we go. Knock you out. Add just a... Whoa. Okay. It appears we have an underground water source down there. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So let's, let's address this area over here. Let's go something like that. So then we'll go across like here. So this is kind of what we're going to do for our table and chairs. We're going to use the dark chocolate wood and here's why. So let me get out a half slab and let me demonstrate kind of what I want to do here. So I wanted to do, you know, a contrasting table of another color of wood or a stone of some kind. But the design that I want to go for would require us to do this. And what we would have this extra little piece here. But by going like that and then putting this over here like so, we can we can create kind of like a leg of a table. But if we were to do that, of course, with this color, you know, an opposite color, you get this extra little piece here that I don't like. I just like this single, you know, pole coming down. So that's kind of the design we're going to be going for a little bit here. So let's also get out some, let's go with some gray carpet here. There we go. Put that across here, like so. And they actually did fix the portrait bug that was in the recent snapshot. So we will be able to place our portraits. And I purposely haven't gone on this world, so we didn't lose all of our portraits off the walls in other rooms, because that has definitely been a problem. There also is another glitch where sometimes I deselected the particles or lowered them down for now because all the portraits and item frames are smoking. There's like a smoke particle effect coming out of them, so that's pretty crazy. All right, there we go. So that's starting to look pretty nice, I think. Okay, so let's start working on our table. So we are going to pick a spot here, and I'm gonna say that is going to be our chair. That's gonna be a chair. That's gonna be one. So we're just kind of mapping out a little bit of our thing in my bob. There we go, I like that, I think that's nice. And let's see here, what do we want to do for our chair? So we're just going to do whoop, like so, there we go. And then we're going to also get out, uh, where do they hold them trap doors at? There they are. Trap doors are always hidden a little bit. And then we're also going to need an item frame out of our magical inventory. Okay, good. So now we got that complete. So now we're going to go like so, and we're going to go like that. And we're going to place you up here and then bring this across like so. Oh, hey there, Bob, the building inspector creeper. How are you? Yes, are you measuring that, making sure it's all up to code? It is, I can assure you so. And then we're going to place these as seats. Easy there, buddy. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Man, he's very interested in my shelving design over there. Look at him. Look at him. He's just intently looking at it, keeping an eye on it, making sure it's all up to code. And if not, he's gonna blow it up. And that's not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. Yes, the chair's okay. <laughs> if I, I, I'm afraid I'm gonna hit him. And if that happens, devastation will strike. <laughs> this is very awkward. I'm just gonna hope he disappears. Nope, he's still here. <laughs> okay, all right. We're going to ignore him because he's being obnoxious. And that's what you do to annoying creepers, you ignore them. Now we're gonna put down some lights. There we go. And I'm going to bring this across here like so. There we go, bring that all the way around here like so. And then this will just act as an overhead lighting for our table. There we go. And like I said in the previous uh, Super Awesome Minecraft episode, I did apologize and I apologize again that um, we, we took a little bit of a break from this series for a little bit because of all the doctor's uh, appointments and things that went wrong last week. So I apologize again for missing a week on it. But um, yeah, we're back and hopefully we're doing some good work today. All right, there we go. And what do you think? Do you think this is a little too high or low? Should we go down one more? Because you know, like a, a light at a table would be pretty low. And it looks like everything's up to code. Bob and Bob the Creeper Building Inspector did leave. So that's a good thing. Oh, oh, he's back. He's back. Lighting inspection this time. All right. I, I'm thinking that might be a little low. But then if you think about it, lights over tables are pretty darn low. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I think that's okay. I think that's probably all right. So let's see here. I think we could do a little bit something here. 
I feel like this area could use a little bit of sprucing up a little bit. There we go. Add just a little extra detail, a little extra design in this area. There we go. That'll just be the same, I guess. There we go. And for up here, let's actually take out that and go across. And let's see. Let's see. I want to create a different design along here, but I guess that's probably just, yeah, that's all right, I guess. Um, this area is goofed up. Let's see. What do we do wrong here? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Very nice. All right. I like that. So that's pretty good. We definitely got that all kind of sorted out. And then let's do the same on this side over here. Get that all lined up. Fix a mistake. There we go. And just add in those little extra detail. Oop. Do we have a chisel? We need the chiseled. Give me that chisel. There we go. There we go. Now we got that chisel block. And then we'll just fit those into there like so. All right, there we go. I think we've got a pretty cool little dining room. I think Bob the Creeper Building Inspector approves of our work. Got a nice big window out there. Soon we'll get to the landscaping and we'll have a nice uh, landscape garden we can look out that window at. And well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Get out some materials here. So we'll start with the mattresses. We're going to go one, two, three. So we're going to go three here. Let's actually go four. Let's do four. And then just fill that in right there. And then we'll add the other mattress above here. There we go. And then let's see, we'll do the same. Oh, we'll do.